Hello, Junior Rangers. My name is Alex Anderson, and I'm an interpreter here at Crystal Cove State Park. This week, we've been learning about animal evidence and the signs that animals leave behind. So we thought it would be really fun to go on a nature hike and see what we can find on the trail. So come along. It is such a beautiful day out here on the trail. And sometimes we even find animals on the trail. Do you guys hear that? It sounds like a rattle. What kind of animal would make that kind of sound out here on the trail? Let's look. I think I found our animal. Do you see the animal that I see on the side of the trail? Now, boys and girls, I know that this is a stuffed replica. So it's real, it's just no longer alive. So I'm approaching this red diamond rattlesnake. But if you were out on a nature trail and you saw a live snake, do you know what you should do? You wanna calmly give the snake some space and it will slither on its way. Snakes wanna have nothing to do with us. They only strike when they're startled or surprised. That's why it's very important to be aware of your surroundings out in nature. Now our red diamond rattlesnake is one of two venomous snakes that we have here in the park. It's a reptile and they're actually pretty polite because they give us a warning letting us know that they're on the side of the trail and they'd like us to step away. And how do they warn us? They rattle their tail. So their tail has different segments of keratin. Keratin is a protein that you can find in your fingernail. If you flick your fingernail right now, it's filled with protein keratin. And rattlesnakes are members of the pit viper family. In between their eye and their nostril, they have a hollow pit that is a heat sensing organ so they can see heat in the night. They're carnivores and they love to eat small mammals like rodents and even rabbits. They're very important for our ecosystem here because they keep the rodent po population down. Thank you, rattlesnake, for keeping our rodent population down. All right, let's go see what else we can find along the trail. You know, snakes shed their skin as they grow, so you could find snake shed along the side of the trail, which is a really cool example of animal evidence. Boys and girls, I think we found another animal along the side of our trail here. Can you find the animal that I see on the side of the trail? It's a greater roadrunner. Now it might've been hard to see the greater roadrunner because it was blending in so well with its environment, just like the rattlesnake was. What do we call it when plants and animals blend in with their surroundings? We call that camouflage. Now this roadrunner is built for speed. They can run up to 20 miles per hour and they have two toes facing forward and two toes facing backwards. So they leave behind X-shaped tracks along the trail, which is really cool animal evidence. And we can see that our road runner is right next to a hole in the ground. What kinds of animals would live in a hole in the ground here at Crystal Cove State Park? Well, the animal we just learned about, the rattlesnake actually likes to hang out in the holes of rabbits. And why do you think this roadrunner would be hanging out right next to a hole? Well, roadrunners, they rely on a diet rich in moisture because they live in really hot places. So they actually like to eat reptiles like lizards and, you guessed it, a rattlesnake. So maybe that's why we have a roadrunner hanging out by a rattlesnake hole here on the side of our trail. Let's keep on hiking. Oh my gosh, Junior Rangers, this next animal is so exciting. Look at this beautiful coyote. Have you ever heard coyotes howling in the night? And they don't just howl, they yip, they squeal, they go, ay, 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 ay. 
They can throw their calls across canyons to make it sound like there's a much larger number of them than there actually are. They like to hang out in big groups called packs, but we should actually call these packs families. These animals are very family oriented. Um, they'll stay together their whole lives. And coyotes are very good at blending into their surroundings like our rattlesnake and our greater roadrunner. Um, their fur keeps them warm and in the winter time they get a really big heavy coat for the winter. They have extra wonderful senses for hearing for predators and listening for prey. They have big ears. They have great eyesight and a very highly developed sense of smell. They can even smell their prey underneath the snow. And our coyotes like to eat plants and meat, so they're omnivores. Thank you so much for joining me on this nature hike today, Junior Rangers. Today we learned about the rattlesnake, the greater roadrunner, and the coyote. So next time you're out hiking in the park, keep your eyes peeled for some animal evidence. Have a great day!